Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we are going to explain how to use the linguistic software PRAP and to analyze speech acoustically. First, you have to download this software in its official website, which is the one that you are watching right now in my screen. According to your computer system, you will have to choose one of these options. Two options will appear. Choose to run it anyway. Open the program. Two windows will open. Now the second step is to choose which audio you want to work with. In our case, we will be working with an audio that was recorded outside the program and then converted into WAV format. But you can also record yourself or another person's voice to analyze it directly in the program. If you're going to record only one person, then go to new and choose record mono sound. But if you're going to record more than two people, then click on record stereo sound. For now, we're going to choose record mono sound. In order to record in Pratt, you would need a quiet place with good quality sound and a good quality microphone. Reduce noise as much as you can so the data will not be affected. Please. You can stop the recording here in the stop button. Be careful not to reach the yellow or red lines while you are recording, so it will have the right level of intensity. Once you have recorded, you can listen to it, and if you are not satisfied, then you can record it again as many times as you want. Please. Once you have recorded the audio you will be working with, you can save it with a name that you want. You can continue to record and make a list, but if you're going to record just one, then you can press save to list and close. We are going to work with an external audio, so I'm going to remove it. If you're going to use an external audio like us, you will have to click on open. If you're going to work with a short audio, click on read from file. But if you're going to work with a longer audio, then choose open long sound. In our case, it is a short audio. So read from file. Then we select the audio in wave format and click on open. Now it is here in the list and we have to create a text script. So we go to annotate and to text grid. We will use three tiers. The first one, orthography. The second one, radization of the graphing text. And the last one, realization. We will not use a point tier. To start annotating, you have to select both the audio and the text script sample, and now choose view and edit. Click on accept, and here it is. You can listen to the audio by clicking on the top button in your computer. Yo me acuerdo mucho que tuve una, una experiencia media. We're going to analyze the word experiencia. So I'm going to zoom in and select it which is, you can do it with your mouse. And now listen to it again by clicking tap bottom. Experience. The first line here shows the voicing, the amplitude of the voicing. The larger and higher they are, the more voicing they have. And there are also white lines. They show the lack of voicing. The audios are measured in hertz. We are going to analyze an adult woman. So the range of hertz in a speech for woman goes from 165 to 255 hertz. As we can see in the right side, I'm going to zoom out, select it again, and the woman reaches 219.7 hertz. So, before analyzing the spectrogram, we will make a boundary in the first tier. You have to select with your mouse the interval of the audio you will use and then select boundary above. Now, 
Then you click on add on tier one. Now, write in the text box under the menu, the word or sentence that you will analyze. In our case, it is experiencia. Next, for the second tier, select each consonant or vowel you will be analyzing. For example, we will analyze this consonant. And this vowel. In order to write in the text box, you can use some of the IPA symbols located in the right side of the window. Okay, now down in the spectrogram, we have three formants. Formants are resonant frequencies in the way that we create. All vowels can be characterized by F1 and F2. The darker a formant is reproduced in the spectrogram, the stronger it is. This means the more energy there is around its frequency or the more audible it is. For example, here in the word experiencia, we can see that this is a consonant because it is not as darker as a vowel, like here. This is the consonant ka. Now, for the vowel, we have a diphthong that consists of one front vowel and one central vowel, according to the place of articulation. In the place where the standardized Spanish pronunciation of the grapheme X would be, there is no pronunciation. This means that the allophone S is not pronounced. That is why we see a blank space here. So we can say this is a null pronunciation and we put the symbol. Now we have concluded that the realization for the grapheme X in the pronunciation of this person was null. So we can create a new boundary in the third tier in order to put this. like this. If you want to save the text grid, select file, then select save text grid as text file and save it. If you want to save this as a picture, go to the main windows, write object and write picture, and in write picture select the space you will draw and then go to write object and click on the sound, click on analyze spectrum to a spectrogram, click on OK, another object will appear. You have to click draw and paint and OK again. Here is the drawing of your spectrum. If you want to draw the components, click on sound again, click on analyze spectrum to form and work, click on OK, click on draw and then click on speckle and OK. Here are the formal of the spectrum. For the next component, you click on the sound, you click on to intensity, you click on OK, another object will appear, then you put on draw and put on OK. Here is the intensity. As you can see here, it is the same color as the formants. So you can undo this by clicking on edit, undo, and you can change the color clicking on pen and clicking on the color here. I will use blue and you can draw it again. Here is intensity. To draw the pitch, you click on the sound, click on analyze periodicity, click on to pitch, click on OK. You can change the color here. We're going to put it red. Then click on draw and draw and OK. Here is the pitch. You can download this image by going to file, Save as PNG file here and clicking on save. We hope this tutorial helped you with that. Good luck using the program. Have a nice day. Thank you.